everyone, it's Amy, and today I just wanted to share all the different types of supplies that I use for my K-pop binders. I get asked this a lot, so I figured now is a good time to make one compilation video. So some of this information might be a bit repetitive for you because I do talk about my supplies quite often, and most recently in my setting up my A5 binder, I did talk about all the different sleeves that I use, but I understand that that being a longer video, you might not feel inclined to want to click on it and watch it. So I just figure I'm just going to condense everything, put everything into this video. So there's going to be four parts to this video. We're going to talk about binders, and then we're going to talk about the different page pockets, and then we'll also talk about the sleeves. And then at the very end, I'll talk a little bit about what I use to actually wrap up like signed albums or any kind of album that you want to like preserve. Um, I have really large pockets for that. So we'll go through everything today. I also kind of want to have a bit of a disclaimer and is that these are just the supplies that I have been using that I really enjoy using and um, I understand that there's so many other options out there and I would love to hear what you guys use so if you want to leave a comment down below that would be great. Also at the time that I'm filming this I'm pretty sure that a lot of the page pockets that I use are out of stock from the shop that I get them from. So I'll still leave a link to them. Like I'm gonna leave a link to everything that I mentioned, but I'll also talk about alternatives and leave links to those things as well. Okay, but first we'll talk about binders. Okay, so starting out with one and a half inch binders, I have two different brands that I like to use. This is by Staples, so it is called the Staples Better Binder. It actually like has this um, like window on the side if you want to put in like a label, but I, I don't really do that. I don't really decorate any of the front of mine. I mean, I want to, but I just don't. <laughs> when you open it up, it does have this as well. So if these things will bug you like this little pouch, then you might not want to get the Staples Better Binder, but I really like how it has this clasp thing. Hinge. I don't know what it's called, <laughs> but yeah, it's a really great binder and they come in a couple different colors and this one is mint. And then I also use the one by the Avery brand and this one is actually, I just ordered it in bulk off of Amazon. Again, it is one and a half inches, very standard, very plain. And yeah, I just really like it. Um, so I keep my just my Taeyang collection in here. One thing that sets it a bit apart from the Staples Butter Binder, and this is probably a con for me, but you always have to kind of open it that way. I mean, you can also open it like this, but it's just not as convenient as having that one little hinge on the bottom as the other one, but it's fine. It's not a deal breaker for me. And then going one step up, we have the two inch binder. This is also by the Avery brand. I got it off of Amazon. But if you're in the U.S., you can also probably get it from like Office Depot or um, Staples. <laughs> so you're going to have a lot of options on where you're going to find these. So I am in the U.S., so three rings is pretty standard and common over here. This is actually the rest of my BTS collection. I mean, it's part of it. I still have other binders that have the bulkier items, but this just has um, more of OT7 stuff as well as some of my Tay mini photo cards. But yeah, um, a lot of people are gonna say, you know, try to get one size bigger than what you might think you want, only because your collection is gonna keep growing, probably. <laughs> I think it also depends as well on how often your groups have comebacks, how much merch they're going to come out with. I mean, obviously that's not very predictable, but you know, especially in times of like the pandemic, I feel like these companies have been pumping out so much merch, like more than usual. So it's just been really easy to start accumulating stuff very, very quickly. My personal preference really though, is to stay around two inches. I just prefer the overall size of this and for storing them. And by the way, when it comes to storing these type of binders, I just lay them flat on a shelf and then I, I can put another one on top of the other. I just make sure that it doesn't get too heavy. Okay, and next up, I feel like these have become super popular and that is what everyone's been calling the mini binder or it's an A5 size binder basically. So these two are by the brand called Beyond D or Beyond and then there's like a little D smiley face there. So again, this is really based on your personal preference. You know, how big is your collection? Do you only collect one member? Maybe there's not a lot of photo cards 
or maybe you just like to keep the cards that you pull and you don't trade. So there's just a lot of different reasons why people decide to go with the A5 size binders. So for example, I like to keep one member that I fully collect here, which is MJ from Astro. Well, I just fully collect his Korean photo cards. And then I started collecting Bin and Unu as well. So they share one binder right now. And I also put these little page dividers in there to kind of separate their two sections. There's a couple ways on how you could get this if you are in the US. So I order off of mochithings.com. There's also an Etsy shop called Durunaru that you can order these from as well. I've also seen people on Instagram open up group orders for it. Again, it's really going to be based on your personal preference, on how many cards you're going to be collecting and so forth, but I really enjoy the fact that, you know, I can decorate this and I just think that the aesthetic is just really cute and fun and I'm always trying to find new excuses to get another one of these. <laughs> but if a clear type of cover is not really your thing, then um, there's this other type of binder <laughs> that I use as well. So again, this is another Avery brand. It is a five size as well. So it is three rings instead. And yeah, this is Avery brand. So it's very simple. I keep my multi uh, collection in here. I've got different groups, different members are all in here. Okay, so now we're gonna talk about pockets. And what I mean by pockets are, you know, those pages that you're gonna put all your photo cards in. As you can see, I keep everything in one large binder and I have a little sticky note that obviously is removable and I just like to label what kind of pockets I actually have in each binder so that I can find it really easily. So we'll start out with the one pocket. Pretty self-explanatory. Hopefully you can see it okay with this white sheet of paper in it. But this is by a really popular shop among K-pop collectors and everyone calls it the Andy Jack shop. <laughs> that is the seller on eBay's name. The actual name of the shop though is called Andy's Antiquities and there's two A's in the word Andy. That might be why sometimes people have trouble finding it. But yeah, I'll leave a link to it. But their shop is actually my favorite shop. Unfortunately, at the moment, a lot of their products are out of stock, but I do see them restock things eventually. So if you just want to bookmark it, definitely keep an eye on them. Another good alternative is um, I'll just go on Amazon and get a pack of the ones made by Ultra Pro. Those ones work just as fine. The reason I prefer the Andy Jack ones though is that the whole pocket itself extends the entire length of the page. Whereas I think in the batch of the ones from Ultra Pro that I got, the actual page only extends down to like here. So you're not getting the full page. But again, I don't know, there's probably other ones out there. I'm just not as familiar with them. But yeah, these are just really great for when you get mini posters or really large uh, postcards that, you know, just won't fit in anything else. I figure for the two pockets, it's easier to visually show you what it looks like with contents inside of them. So again, this is by that Andy Jack shop and um, these are their two pockets. And I really like them because they're wide. And so as you can see, this fits the HYYH epilogue postcards really, really nicely. So yeah, I love these a lot. Um, the shop also carries a vertical two pocket. So this is great for bookmarks. If you don't want to use a three pocket and you want to showcase your stuff vertically like this in a two pocket, this is a really, really great option. And yeah, this is another way that I like to store cards in the two pockets. Sometimes I'll cut out white card stock and then I'll put the smaller photos on top and then that way the whole space kind of looks like it's filled out and every single page is you know the exact same width and length so it just it's just a little bit more satisfying that way but since the Andy Jack ones are not in stock right now um, I would suggest you can look up the ones by BCW and I think Ultra Pro as well they have two pockets Another kind that I would like to mention, um, and I actually do currently use these, these are 5x7 and they're by Suez. I'm not sure if I'm saying that correctly. That's the brand on Amazon. So yeah, I actually really like these. They are a bit thin. So yeah, they're 5x7, so it is a good alternative if you want to store some things that are a little bit smaller. 
Next up, I have the three pocket, and these measure four by six inches or 101 millimeters by 152 millimeters. So these are pretty much uh, oriented like this. You have one that lays horizontally on top and then two vertical ones down below. So this would be something that's really good for small postcard size photo cards. But yeah, these are by Ultra Pro. I'm not sure. Um, there's probably some by BCW. I haven't looked into it. And as of right now, I haven't seen this kind on the Andy Jack eBay shop. So I've just been getting these off of Amazon. And then there's another kind of three pocket. They're the horizontal kind. And they're just really great for things like tickets or bookmarks. And these are by the Ultra Pro brand as well. And now moving into the four pockets, there's a couple of different kinds here. So I use a combination of the Ultra Pro ones. So yeah, this is just your standard four pocket like that. These measure three and a half by five and a quarter inches or 88 millimeters by 133 millimeters. And they're by Ultra Pro, it's called the Platinum Series. It says hologram pages, and I've had people ask me this before. They're like, what exactly does it mean hologram? Um, I'm not sure, really, honestly. I think it says hologram because I don't know if it's because of the holographic label here or maybe it's because it's kind of a shiny plastic. I'm not really sure, to be honest with you, but these are not what you would consider hollow. Like, there's, there's no rainbow effect. It's just clear. Unfortunately, a lot of my pages have gotten... See how kind of, like, dimpled and wavy it looks? Yeah, I don't know what's going on with this batch. Maybe it's just old. This room also gets really hot sometimes, so I don't know if that has something to do with this warping. It's also been doing it on the three pockets that I just showed you earlier, so... I'm not really sure, but that's the one major drawback for me with these Ultra Pros. Now, BCW, they also make four pockets, and the ones by BCW are actually a little bit bigger. I don't have it in front of me, I don't know the measurements, but they actually fit the, the wings Polaroids. So if you collect, you know, those big Polaroids that come in the wings uh, by BTS album, then those Polaroids will fit in the BCW four pockets. Um, they will not fit in this. <laughs> I have tried, it does not work. But my favorite four pockets, again, are by the Andy Jack Shop. So these fit larger postcards. As you can see, I have the BTS broadcast PCs in here and they are quite small, so I added some white cardstock to fill in the extra space. But yeah, by far, these are my favorite four pockets. I think my biggest tip when it comes to figuring out what pockets you're going to want to use, I think bigger is probably always better. It's going to be your safest bet. I don't remember the measurements of these ones off the top of my head, but I'll make sure to leave it in the description below for you. I feel like if I could give another tip, it would probably be um, just go check the product page. Um, if it's a product that is still on a website, chances are it's going to say what the dimensions are and then you'll be able to look up you know the dimensions of your pockets um usually that's also you know in the item description like on amazon for example and even on the ebay shop for andy jack like it'll say the measurements so um, i feel like that's just something that sometimes it's easy to overlook but sometimes you know the answer is just right there you just gotta look it up and yeah that's really the only way you're gonna know if something is going to fit and then next up, I have the six pocket. So these are great for those ticket type of photo cards, message cards, uh, muster message cards specifically, um, and the ones by like Happy Ever After. Those will fit in this very well. Sorry, that was my cat, <laughs> if you heard that. Also, Ultra Pro makes these as well. Again, these are the Andy Jack ones, but you can find the ones by Ultra Pro on Amazon. And from, from my knowledge, I think they fit just about the same. I know they definitely fit the Happy Ever After photo cards. And then there's another type of six pocket, as you can see here. These are just basically square pockets and they fit the Wings Tour cards really, really nicely. But yeah, I love these a lot. Sometimes if I don't have a lot of mini photo cards, then um, I'll just put them in here and they fit really well too. I haven't tried any other brands, so this being from the Andy Jack shop, I don't know if Ultra Pro has them. Maybe they do. If they do, I will leave a link for you down below. Next up, we have the more common ones that you probably see a lot of people have, and these are eight pockets. They are great for things like tour cards, muster, mini PCs, 
photo cards that are technically big. I mean, there's nothing mini about these, but that's pretty much what they're called. So I know it's no surprise, these are also the Andy Jack ones. <laughs> and I really, really like these the best for mini photo cards, I think. They just fit way, way better. I also have the ones by Ultra Pro. It's a much more snug fit, and I was using these ones by Ultra Pro for a really long time. So what I mean by this is, here we're gonna use our volunteer Young here, and he's not sleeved either, but you can put it in here and it fits okay. With some of them, you really gotta like jam it in there. And the reason I think I didn't have as much difficulty getting this one in is because it's used, so it's a bit more stretched out. So yeah, but if it's brand new, you're gonna probably be struggling a bit more to really like slide that. So that's just something I keep in mind. Again, it'll fit, but it might kind of end up like curving the cards a little bit, you know what I mean? So once these come back in stock, if you can get them, I highly recommend them. It's just much better fit. Okay, and then finally, we just have the nine pocket. This is pretty standard. Most people will use nine pockets for all of their photo cards, really. These are by the Andy Jack shop. I also use the ones by Ultra Pro, though. So I use these in some of my other binders. It just really depends. Like, I like to give uh, BTS these ones as well as in Hypen and TXT because sometimes our photo cards can be like weird sizes. But like with my The Boys collection, for example, I only use these Ultra Pros in that binder. They're great, I really like them a lot, but they do kind of can get dusty and a bit wavy and warped over time as well. I don't know what's the deal with this brand, to be perfectly honest. Maybe it's the way I'm storing them. I don't really know, but they're still fine. Um, there's just a little bit more room in these ones, but yeah, Ultra Pro ones are great. I, I, I do really like them a lot. And again, these were from Amazon. Okay, so now we're gonna be talking about stuff that I use for the mini binders, and we're just gonna talk about pages right now, and I'll get to sleeves in a little bit but I use two different types of pages for the mini binders. So I really like to use these four pockets that are by the Beyond D brand. I just ordered them along with the binder. Now the biggest thing that sets these apart from Ultra Pro and everything else is that these ones are not PVC free. So that means that it can damage your cards over time if you do not sleeve them. Like you need to actually put your cards in a separate sleeve before putting it in here or else there can be damage done over time. So that's just something to keep in mind. Like I'm pretty sure the Beyond D pockets are not PVC free. Some other keywords to look for when you're buying pockets or sleeves really archival. That's another keyword. If it says it's archival safe or archival standard, acid free those are all really important things to look for so even if the pages themselves do contain pvc it's okay as long as you're also sleeving the photo cards too but anyways these are the four pockets that i use in this one and that is by beyond d some other beyond d brand ones that i like to use um these are just the one pockets and then i have the two pockets and then I have another two pocket that's vertical. I actually haven't tried these yet, but I actually got them to store stickers in. But then I also have this other one by the brand called Amifa. Now this was something that I could not get stateside. I had to order it from Mercari Japan, had it shipped to Neokyo Proxy, and then had them ship it to me. So there were a lot of steps involved. Um, these are four pockets as well. And the reason I have them is because they fit larger pockets. So this is a bit slimmer <laughs> and this is a bit wider. So when I start talking about sleeves, I'll get into these a little bit more and why, you know, I have both. But uh, the dimensions for these are 65 millimeters by 91 millimeters. So one square is 65 by 91. Also earlier when I showed you this mini binder and I talked about these pockets, these are actually just regular nine pocket ultra pros and I cut them down. So yeah, that's it. Really super simple. I trimmed them and then I punched an extra hole. 
All right, so now let's talk about sleeves. There's quite a lot of options out there, and again, it's gonna be based on your personal preference. So when it just comes to any standard photo card, I like to use these Clear Classic by the brand Dragon Shield, and then I also use the White Matte by Dragon Shield. Both of these measure at 88 by 63 millimeters, so we're gonna use Subin as our um, little demonstrator, <laughs> but yeah. When you put in a standard size photo card, and most K-pop photo cards are this size, I mean obviously there's going to be an exception to the rule, but as you can see, when I put Subin in here, there is still some room, you know, along the sides and the bottom. So you do have some extra wiggle room in here in case you do have a slightly bigger photo card, and you can put it into this sleeve. These fit perfectly fine in a 9 pocket, you can also put them in an 8 pocket but it's going to probably move around a little bit more in an eight pocket because those pockets are a little bit bigger. But yeah, I use these in all my nine pockets. I also will use these standard dragon shields in this mini binder. The one that I said where I cut up a nine pocket and I turned it into this four pocket. That's one reason to do that is so that you can keep using these dragon shield. Uh, both of these sleeves are exactly the same. So that is why I really, really like these Dragon Shields a lot. They're versatile and they work for many different things. Now remember the Amifa brand that I was talking about? These were the ones that I had to order, you know, from Mercari Japan. But if you don't want the smaller four pockets, you know, the ones that are by Beyond D, then this is an option for you is you get the Amifa brand and you can still use your standard Dragon Shields because they fit. So let me find the opening here. <laughs> uh, here we go. And look at that, it fits perfectly. I didn't have any difficulty, you know, trying to jam that in there. So these Amifa pockets are great. If you want to get a mini binder um, that's six rings, like that Beyond D binder that I showed, um, using the Amifa pockets is a perfect solution. And also, it's double-sided, so I could technically, like, take this out, flip this over, and you can double-side um, these pockets, or these pages. So, that's really nice. I really like these Amifa pockets a lot. And then, as I mentioned a little bit ago, I use white a lot for fillers, but sometimes I also, you know, I like to put regular photo cards into white sleeves as well. I also have pink, I have this mint color. Um, Dragon Shield makes all colors of the rainbow, so you will probably find something that you like. And yeah, this is the white matte, and the reason it's matte is because the back has a slight texture. <laughs> so yeah, that's really all I have to say about Dragon Shield. They're my go-to brand, but unfortunately, prices for them have really been going up. So even though I've been getting them off of Amazon, I'm gonna start getting them off of eBay because I think the prices are just a little bit better there. So I know that I talked about Dragon Shield, but there's also Ultra Pro, that's another brand that a lot of people like to use for photo cards. So these ones that I have are 66 by 91 millimeters. Here, I'll show you. I mean, they fit photo cards just fine. I only have lilac, but they do have clear ones as well. So a lot of people like to use the clear ones. Um, they come in white, they come in assorted colors. I got these out of Amazon, but they're also on eBay. I think the biggest deal breaker for some people for when it comes to Ultra Pros, well, I think their prices have been increasing as well. So there's a little dot right here, and it's their logo, and it's actually on the front. It's on the clear part, it's not on the back. So if you're gonna get a sleeve that has, you know, a solid back, the logo is gonna be on the front. Um, that's a deal breaker for a lot of people because once you put that photo card in there, <laughs> that little dot is going to show up on, you know, on your photo card. Now, it doesn't bother a lot of people, so again, this is going to be a personal preference thing. Okay, and while I'm at it, I actually want to mention very quickly penny sleeves. This is actually going to be more into the realm of trading, which I'm not going to get into those materials today. Penny sleeves are 
a lot thinner. I got these off of Amazon. They're by Ultra Pro. Unfortunately, I don't remember what the dimensions are, but um, I just want to say that the reason I don't use penny sleeves in my binder is because it is just really, really flimsy. Yeah, just see how like it's really slick. It's really thin. Once you put this into a nine pocket, it's going to create some air bubbles. It might just look kind of crinkly. So that is why I stay away from these type of sleeves for my binders. And I like to use something a bit thicker like the Dragon Shield ones or Ultra Pro. But yeah, but these are really, really good and a very inexpensive thing to have on hand for when you're doing trades um, because you can put the photo card into the penny sleeve and then you can put the photo card into a top loader and mail it off that way. So now let's talk about all the ones that I use in my mini binder in the Beyond D specific pages. So let me go ahead and take out a pocket here from the Beyond D brand that I got off of mochithings.com and yeah these are all the different sleeves that are actually going to fit into these pockets. But my two favorites at the moment are the Clear Classic by Dragon Shield and it's important that it says Japanese size. It has to say Japanese size or else it is not going to fit in this. So um, again, Clear Classic, let's see, the dimensions are, these are 86 millimeters by 59 millimeters. I also lately have been loving these ones by the BCW brand. They're the BCW board game sleeves. They are 56 by 87 millimeters. So even though they're a little bit smaller, I mean, they still work and they still fit photo cards. So I got the Dragon Shield ones off of Amazon and they're getting pretty expensive. So that's why I made the switch to BCW. And I feel like both of them in terms of quality are incredibly similar. I would say this is the thickest. I mean, it's pretty much on par with the standard, so they feel exactly the same. But the BCW is right there. I mean, they're really great. And honestly, when I run out of these, I'm just going to keep using BCW. I can get them for like $3 a pack on eBay. So that is something that I highly recommend that you do check eBay first if Amazon isn't going to have it or you think, oh, this Amazon price isn't very good. Definitely check eBay because those sellers usually have some better deals. But yeah, when it comes to these four pockets, either one of these is totally fine. Now some other alternatives. Both of these are from Amazon. So I have the purple pack of Mayday games. These are the standard USA game size sleeves. They are 56 by 87 millimeters and they're the purple pack. So they all like are coated with different colors. Obviously this is purple. Um, these ones are much thinner, but they're great if you want to double sleeve something. And I also use them for trading as well. So um, I think that if you want a much um, cheaper option and you get like a hundred of them, I think one pack was like two or three dollars. In fact, I think I had to pay shipping for it and it was like the same price as the shipping. <laughs> so, but yeah, as you can see here, it is a much more snug fit. Um, not very snug. I mean, there's still a little bit, bit of wiggle room. So, I mean, I think the fit is perfectly fine. And Sleeve Kings is another great option. This comes in a pack of 110 sleeves. The measurements are 56 by 87 millimeters. It's in this yellow packaging. This is a little bit thicker than Mayday Gains. Yeah, these do feel a little bit thicker and I believe the prices are very on par with another. So you really can't go wrong with either one. But yeah, so that's the fit of this. As you can see, it's a little less crinkly. So if you had to like choose, you know, I would probably go with the Sleeve Kings to be honest. I just really like the Mayday Games one, mainly for trades. I don't use it in my binder. I can also show you the BCW and how this fits. So yeah, BCW, it just feels a lot thicker than the Sleeve Kings. And put that on there. And yeah, it's just a really good fit. Um, I have nothing really to say about that. If you want to compare it to Dragon Shield, um, definitely the thickest. But I think this actually might have a little bit more wiggle room on the sides. Yeah, because it's a little bit wider. 
So, yes. There's Dragon Shield. Has a little bit extra space on the sides. So if I had to rank them in terms of, you know, thickness or favorability, uh, I would say Dragon Shield is the thickest, followed very closely by BCW, and then Sleeve Kings, and then Mayday Games. Okay, and now moving into the very last sleeves, and these are going to be the ones that are going to fit in your mini photo card, you know, tour PCs, uh, muster, you know, those type of photo cards they will fit in here. So the actual dimensions for one of these photo cards is 70 millimeters by 100. So as long as you find a sleeve that is going to fit 70 by 100, you're good. So the two brands that I really love right now, these are the Scythe Lost Cities. They're actually 72 by 112 millimeters. And then I have the ones by BCW. They're the tarot card size sleeves. They are 70 by 120. Um, I got both of them off of eBay. These ones used to be on Amazon. They're currently sold out. So I bought my next batch from eBay and I bought these as well to try out both of them. Great thickness. Honestly, I can't really vote one over the other. I think they're both great. It's just gonna be a personal preference or maybe a price difference for you. I can't remember what the price difference was for me. There is a drawback and that is if you wanted to perfectly fit this, you're gonna have to trim them. So I have one of those um, paper cutter boards that has a little blade that you slide across. And that's what I use to trim these, so it goes by a lot quicker. So with this pack, I actually already trimmed them. So I will show you how they fit. And they're so great. I really love these sleeves a lot. But yeah, that's just how they look. It fits very well, and it just makes everything feel more protected. And I think it's really good if you maybe have some of their older photo cards, like their older muster cards or magic shop, you know, like things like that. Those can definitely be worth some money. So I would probably try to sleeve them if you can. And then as for these ones, I have not trimmed these yet, but I can show you what it looks like without it being trimmed. And you'll see what I mean. So yeah, the thickness is great here so as you can see it is pretty long but fits in width wise just fine so that's what's left over this is the amount that I end up having to trim but yeah I mean it's fine with me and then sometimes if you get special merch like their DVDs or something and it comes with like a tarot card size you know photo card then these sleeves work just fine for that as well Okay, and then finally, if you're curious how to wrap up your albums, um, you want to make sure that you're using something that is, you know, archival, acid-free, PBC-free. So I have a signed Woods album, I have a signed Astro album, and I wrapped both of them up in this. It is by the brand BCW. It's really wide, <laughs> so you can uh, customize it, you can trim it to, you know, to fit what you needed to fit. It is the BCW book Polypropylene. I don't know if I said that right. Uh, they're book bags. They are 10 inches by 13 inches. If you're a book collector as well, I think this is something that's probably gonna be useful for you, you know, if it's something that you don't plan on opening up. Um, like with these ones, I will probably never open them again. Um, and then I just wrap them like I would a gift, which isn't the greatest. We're just not gonna, you know, look at the back <laughs> but yeah that is how i go about storing any of my signed merchandise okay so i think i about covered everything i hope i didn't leave anything out and i hope it wasn't all over the place um i understand that a lot of the things that i primarily use are currently out of stock which makes me feel kind of bad that i made this video where it's like oh i'm just i'm just recommending stuff that you know is out of stock but i do promise that this shop does restock um, i'm not affiliated with them or anything but i just really like to use them uh, one thing though is that they are based in the uk so shipping to the us can be quite a bit but in the past they've been really understanding and if you message them after you place an order um, they have refunded me part of the shipping fee because they would just combine everything into one shipment especially if i'm buying you know multiple packs 
um, and they combine everything together. But like, you know, like I said, Amazon, eBay has a lot of good things to look up BCW, look up Ultra Pro. Um, those are very good brands, but I am very curious what are some other things that you like to use. I'm always open to trying new things. I always love trying new materials, so definitely let me know what you like to use. But I hope that this video was helpful for you regardless. That is going to be it for me today. I hope you have a wonderful day and I'll see you later. Bye!